Okay, looping friends, I've got three really nice things to show. First, you see this? This is a DC DC upstepper. The cable comes from here, that's a that's a power bank. USB power uh, goes into this DC DC upstepper and the cable zzzz, goes into the working loop station. Yeah, I run my loop station with a power bank. So I can can go outside and loop without um, any any energy uh, from a plug. Um, and I live, live off gear, so off grid, I, th I mean I live uh, only with solar, p solar panels, so that's uh, quite important for me. Even though in some in, in winter, we have not so much sun here in uh, in Germany where I live. So the second very nice thing is this very 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 simple foot switch. Here is the foot switch jack. I have two cables in here, but um, there's three contacts because the cables have uh, 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 yeah what normally would be the ground inside so it's the orange the green and the ground and the ground goes to to both pins one of, of the pins of the um, of the switches and the green cable and the orange cable go to the other ones and I press here. You see, uh, it's not on focus in the moment. No. I press this button, and you see the light going by the uh, at the edit. That's my target track. Target track. I can select which track is my target track. And now the target track is one. And when I push this button, I record. And then I push it again. My record is finished. I pushed twice because I had to wait for the bars to, to go. So that's um, the second very, very nice thing. And I was using this until now. But today, I uh, managed to build a much better thing here. MIDI in. And this is my prototype. For now, it's, uh, it's not really nice. Uh, it's not good looking, <laughs> but it's working. I've got my target track here. I've got my record and overdub here. I try to focus it. Yes, record and overdub. Um, here I've got what is it? Undo. Yeah, undo and redo. If you look at here, zip, undo track 4, because track 4 is the target track, I can go, track 5 is empty now, so I make track 1 as uh, the target track, and I un I cleared track 1, because it was not overdubbed. So, what else, what is this knob here? Um, ah, so I clear, I, I've got a, a, a clear button, I've got a stop all button and start all again button. And one thing I, I really think is very practical to have, because um, I was 
playing around with the loop station um, while I didn't have the MIDI pedal uh, and um, if you see this this is the FX selected and I can with my with, with one of the buttons I can select which is the input effect and which is the output if track effect here and this could be very can, can be very nice um, because it's always the the one I I pushed is the one that's selected now the slicer and if I make exit now the slicer is the selected and I can only uh, manipulate the slicer now but I can say okay the slicer is good as it is and now I want to um, make the beat scatter and I want to before I push the button of the beat scatter I adjust it and then I push the button now it's pitch bent yeah okay <laughs> but if I had the beat scatter here I could manipulate uh, what it does uh, here, yeah, without it being selected or or, or being the last button I pushed. Um, this is just a, um, a prototype. I can show how it's made. It's really not nice. It's just make to function in the moment <laughs> this is an Arduino board uh, I bought for 30 euros on Amazon a cheap one and um, well I didn't know how to make it this morning and um, now it's working because uh, I found a guy, a German guy, that makes a real, real good tutorial. Unfortunately, it's just in, no, for me, fortunately, but for the most of the people in the world, unfortunately, it's just in, in German. But people who speak German or understand German, look at it. Uh, if you search for MIDI controller selber bauen, you will find a very very good detailed uh, tutorial with some bugs in it I couldn't make it just with the tutorial there were some some things I had to discover in my journey today but I discovered and um, now it's working and this is only the beginning I mean um, there is the possibility to to make the, the faders to, to control the faders uh, with a MIDI pedal or to control the effects knobs with the MIDI pedal and I have now only the half of the capacity because I have just eight knobs and I can um, in in total have 16 channels 16 things I, I manipulate so I can Put potes uh, like potentiometers to to manipulate the 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 volume or this um, the effects um, section. Yeah, and I think I will do it. And if you got questions, um, I'm happy to share my experience. <laughs>